In the header panel, you will find a few options for the drop-down layouts. You can align your drop-down to the left of your menu item, as in my case right now. Choose the right alignment or center your drop-down. By default, the drop-down is aligned to the menu item, but you can also align it to the navbar itself. Right now, our drop-down is centered, but you can also choose the left or right alignment to the navbar as well. If your menu item is a text separator, you can also enable the click mode. This way, the drop-down will open on a click and not on hover. In addition, you can transform a classic drop-down into a drop bar, which is a full width section beneath the nav bar. Simply choose between the slide animation, the drop bar will slide in on top of your page content, or the push animation. Here, the drop bar will push the page content out of the viewport. If you have many submenu items, you can also split them into columns. Simply go to Navbar Items, open the menu item, and choose the number of columns. Now our drop down is split into two columns. You can also justify drop down to expand to the Navbar boundary. This option may help to better align your drop down if you have a larger number of columns. 